a lot of what you'll find with current games is that uh, it's kind of a hand-fed system and players are led along a certain path, but research has shown that uh, players really enjoy discovering their own fun within a game. We want to take the time to really focus on things that are going to be fun on the outside. Understanding that even movement within a game is very important. We want to make sure that those things are really nailed down. So even the idea of jumping or running need to be fun. They need to work. They need to make sense. And allowing us to share those different modules or phases of progression with the community allows us to get really responsive feedback on what things do and don't work. The game is slowly going to be phased in in terms of functionality. So to start with, um, you're going to wind up in a sandbox environment with very basic functionality. When our alpha phase launches this summer, it's essentially going to be a creative mode of the game. You'll be able to place blocks, explore the terrain, and experience our physics and dynamic lighting systems. Our modular design of our engine will benefit us for years to come. We can add systems later on, like magic, crafting, and AI, uh, without having any chance of breaking physics or lighting. Um, and that design lets us work on pieces of the code without worrying about what their other interactions are going to cause. When we begin our beta testing, we're going to have more gameplay systems in place, including networking and multiplayer servers, the ability to craft basic items like tools, weapons, and armor, and also some configurable AI systems. We'll have character customization in Tug, ideally as soon as we have multiplayer, although at first it may be as rudimentary as being able to choose your gender and skin color. Eventually, you'll be able to completely customize your seed and, of course, see their body grow and change over the course of the game. As gamers, we use experimentation to solve problems. That's the core of what gaming is. It allows us to test certain realities or rules in the game to come to a solution. So what we're shooting for with the UI system and the inventory system is allowing players to change and modify that through crafting. Tug will have a third-person camera, but not in the traditional sense. In some gameplay modes, you'll have to craft a way to use a third-person camera or just discover one. You'll also be able to craft items that'll function as periscopes or alter your field of view or even work as detachable cameras. Our magic system is also going to be based in crafting in much the same way that tools and weapons are. So we have a fully designed companion system that uh, evolves over time. Early on, you start off with finding creatures called podlings that you can kind of tame and teach very menial tasks like gathering resources or uh, collecting certain items for you. And later on you'll find more advanced creatures and actually craft some of these called golems. And uh, golems will be able to carry large amounts of equipment and also fight and defend for you. Wisps are a third type of companion that we hope to introduce at some point down the line. Tug is all about player discovery, but most importantly it's about crafting. And not just crafting of tools and weapons, but crafting your own experience in the game. Our servers will be sorted into levels of difficulty based on a game mechanic that we really don't want to divulge just yet. If you want to play offline, single player, you can do that. If you want to play online on your friend's server, you can do that. Um, if you want to play online on one of our servers, you can do that. Whether you're more interested in PvP and player conflict, or you're just interested in crafting and building and exploring, you'll be able to find a place in Tug that will be suited to your playstyle. I think we're really shooting for that kind of old school gaming experience with Tug to where players put effort into the game because they want to know more about the game, not just because they're trying to follow some path and get to some level within the game itself. Tug would be nothing without its community, and so far, we're so thrilled to have the community of supporters that seem as genuinely excited and enthusiastic as you guys. We really appreciate your support. So please, if you enjoy our updates and posts, keep sharing them with your friends to keep the momentum going so we can reach our funding goal and make Tug the best game that it can be.